Hello everybody and welcome back to On Point HQ and this is my winter warmer video. Uh, as you may have seen from uh, many other videos out there in the gaming community, um, many content creators are undertaking the winter warmer, which is essentially have something fully completed and painted by the end of the month. Now, never want to shirk a challenge. I am taking up the winter warmer challenge also. So what have I gone for? I wanted to do something a little bit a little bit different, a little bit out of my comfort zone. And as you can probably see from the thumbnail on the video and the um, the four Napoleonic uh, figures on the desk, I've decided to try something Napoleonic. Now I've always had a massive, massive respect for you guys that can paint um, masses of um, 28 millimeter Napoleonics. Um, the likes of, of Justin, uh, the, the basic major painter, uh, Leon, uh, Johnny, there's probably more, but they, they're the three that really stick in my mind because um, the, the Napoleonics they complete. Uh, and in many comments, I'm always mentioning that I, I have a, a very healthy respect for you guys. It's not something I've ever really tried, or when I have, it's really not gone very well. But thought, right, damn it, this month with this winter warmer challenge, I'm going to do some Napoleonics. Now, these four, now these are from this, which is the uh, the Perry Miniatures um, line infantry box, which I picked up many years ago for absolutely no reason whatsoever. Um, these have been on and off my desk for the best part of six months, um, and they're still not finished. <laughs> but it was a bit of a, a catalyst or a bit of bit of momentum to get me started. Um, I'll throw some photographs on the screen now of exactly where I'm up to. Um, I must admit that my, my knowledge of Napoleonics is absolute zero. I Aside from watching Sharp when I was a kid, um, I don't, I've never really had anything to do with Napoleonic gaming. It's, it's, a, it's a period that's largely passed me by. Um, but having seen the amount of excellent work out there, I thought, no, I, I want to have a go. I want to see what, I, what, what it is that I'm, I'm scared of painting <laughs> with these guys. So I actually started these last year, um, and again it was it was following uh, seeing a couple of videos by Justin, um, and the the sheer amount that he was getting through. I decided to challenge myself to to actually start some of these. Uh, so I went with the guys with with, um, with long coats. I'm sure there's um I think from looking at the um the painting guide these are Voltigers and um, Grenadiers, but I could be wrong. Um, so I started these four. Now two are pretty much finished. I just need to do the um, the the rock sacks, and the other ones I think I just need to do a bit of. I need to do the rock sacks and a bit of detailing work on the um, on the muskets, and they'll be done. Um, luckily, there's not too much too much white on these guys, which again is my is my Waterloo if you, if you can put it in that context. I just don't like painting white, so this is going to be a lot of fun. Now my winter warmer challenge aren't these four. These are going to be included, but what I want to do is four more. So I've got eight. Now I've not decided what, what the additional four are going to be, whether it's going to be a command section. Probably not, given the amount of detail on there. Um, but what I want by the end of the month is eight fully completed Napoleonic figures. That's that's what I'm aiming for. Um, whether I'll actually complete it is another thing, or uh, um, if I do, whether I'll be a gibbering wreck by the end of it, it, it it's, it's another possibility. All that, all that white. Oh, I'm really looking forward. I am actually really looking forward to it. It's going to be something different. Um, if anyone that's seen all the videos of the channel, they're mostly bolt action related. They're very um, World War Two uh, <laughs> related colours, which I'm comfortable with, and I know that I can paint with these guys. Wow, yeah, it's going to be a huge step outside of my comfort zone for these, but I'm. I'm up for the challenge. I'm I'm really I'm really actually looking forward to doing them. Um, it's been a while since I actually painted any of these. These were done oh in about July, August last year, and then they got relocated to the shelf of abandoned projects and shame. Um, but no, this this has given me a purpose. This has given me a a challenge. And like I say, I, I, I watch so many videos with you guys doing Napoleonics. I'm, I'm actually very jealous that you can get through them. Um, and I can't so it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a bit of a challenge for me but you know I'm prepared for this one so that is my winter challenge um, and I may post some updates or I may just post the one video at the end of the month I haven't decided yet but yep so just to recap my challenge or my winter warmer challenge for for, the, for this month is going to be how to have eight fully completed Napoleonic infantry by the end of the month Right, I hope you enjoyed that and uh, outlined my plans for the next two weeks or so. 
Uh, if you've got any, any comments or questions, as always, just leave them below in the comment section and I will certainly respond to any comments and questions. But as always, um, thanks for watching. Take care. May your dice roll well. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now.